Right, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a bit of a, well, what should we call it, a construction job. What I've got here is, I've, I've taken the spare parts bag, basically, because recently there has been a new way to hack the PlayStation Vita. This one's banned, this motherboard that's in here. Um, I, I took it out of the uh, spare bag, as I said. So it's banned. You can plug a cartridge in and play a cartridge, but you can't update. You can't um, put your PlayStation Network ID in. And because you can't put the PlayStation Network ID in, you couldn't hack it and run Henkaku and other sorts of things. So it was it was kind of, it, was, it would work, but it was very limited. Now, because there's a new way to hack it, I'm thinking, well, I'll dig the band board out and see if I can build one up and make it work. Um, as you can see, this one is powered on. I had originally plugged this backboard in, but that battery is depleted. So I'll plug this one in and obviously it's black screening because if we get that out of the way now, um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's full of dents and there's what looks like a big old crack in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop it apart. <clears throat> This board is not secured in place very well at all. And by very well at all, I mean it's just sitting in its little clips and being held on with a screen connector. So I'll put that out of the way. And what I'm going to do is remove all the buttons. This is also just held in with whatever holds it in. I literally stuck it together so I could see if anything came on and then noticed that the screen was about mullered. So yeah, we'll have all the buttons out. And then we'll remove these two analog sticks. And then we'll get the heat gun on because Mr. Stupid here, when he bought some replacement screens, what he bought did not include the bezel. I mean, yeah, they were cheap, but it also means I need to put in a lot more effort because the replacement screen, which I have here, is just like that nice screen and a nice new fresh piece of glass on the front. What it doesn't have, however, is the bezel. And I've got a feeling it's gonna be a pain in the backside to remove with any kind of ease. So, out comes the heat gun. Got it at 206 on pretty much full airflow. Um, there's not really anything where I can. Um, <clears throat> let's. Uh, yeah, let's use these. As you can see, trying to just pull it up isn't really working. So, in fact, I'll crank it to 2... Well, I was trying to get 250, but 260 it is. come back in a minute once I've uh, stopped cooking it quite so much. Right, that's cooked it quite a bit more. Let's um, see what happens when we try and remove it. That 
Espera. Yeah, it's quite warm. So, yeah, I've snapped off that half. Brilliant. So, this is going to go in the bin. <clears throat> oh, I need to start a new bin. Ah. I've peeled the digitizer off, and yeah, you can see where what I was trying to show you before I peeled it off was that's uh, really taken a bit of a battle. So, let's. Um, Try and get under here. Yeah, I should probably just get the heat gun on it for a minute. So 260 seems like a nice temp to have it at, to melt that glue a bit. Right. Yeah, that's taken that off nicely. Obviously I need to Clean all this glue off. I don't suppose you want to watch me do this, so I'm going to clean this up and I'll be back. Right, that is, apart from being a bit dusty, all the stupid glue is off and I've cleaned it up reasonably well. So let's take this fresh screen. Do you go through there? I'm not sure. Yes. Yes, you do. And then we'll, um, well, does it go through there or does it want to go through here? I think I prefer to put it through there actually. So let's get this out. Get some sticky bits off my flipping fingers. And well, there we go. You for this one yeah you and there must be another one up here let's get that That's not in the right place. Ah. Right, zoom you out a bit whilst I desperately try to unstick this a little bit without breaking it. Sugar. Or have I managed to um, warp the plastic? Right, there we go. We're in. Obviously, I'm going to need to uh, 
sort of pile of fingerprints off the front of that out. But yeah, that's, uh, well, that's that for the time being. Let's get all this junk out of the way. And let's pull this in. <clears throat> so, I need, to I need to clean these up a bit. Right, cleaned up. Let's get them in. Now, they are both exactly the same, so pop this one here. I don't know if these work or not. And obtaining replacement analog sticks for the 1000 is not a cheap option. The 2000 ones can be had at reasonable prices. Ones for the 1000, nah. I think last time I looked at them was well over a year ago and they were about 20 quid each which is kind of ridiculous. Especially when, at the same time, I was looking at the 2000s and the ones for the 2000 were about a fiver each. So, yeah, we could get this all back together and discover that one or both of them are faulty. And then I'll have to see if any of the others in the spare pile bundle have um, analog sticks I can borrow, shall we say. Right, that one's in there. That one goes there. Going there, that one in for here. Now, before the board goes in, I need to find a camera because the camera goes in here and connects in here. So I need to make sure I've got one and L and R buttons and all the rest of that jazz. Well. This appears to be raining on my parade. I don't think I've got one. Where are the other two? Sir? There we go. One of these faulty ones has got a camera. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's put you in here. So. Is going to click on the back onto the little compartment there. There we go. That's on there. Camera needs to slide into there. Bits of sticker. Right. So obviously you need to get that in before you can put before you put that board on top of it. There's our power switch. Doesn't really want to stay where it's supposed to go, but never mind. Um, ba -dum, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba bum ba bum ba bum this one in here. As I say, we're we're building this out of spare parts. Apart from the brand new screen. 
everything here is from, well, a brown padded envelope that says PSV to 1000 spares that has been kicking about the office for a while. There we go, one side's in. Um, I'll just take the board from here, shall we? Don't know if it works. Haven't actually got a, yeah, we have. We've got a cable, good. So that needs to go under here. Yeah, if you look here, there's um, a little outcrop of it. So this has to slide in and under. So that that holds it in place there, then this one, and this one hold it in place there. And then we'll just pop that up, pop this in. Be so bad if I hadn't messed up these tweezers. Right, look at the state of them. They don't really tweeze anything. There you go. That's you in. Not sure which way round this goes. There another no, that's um, that's for that side, but at least we know that one goes that way with a little rubber bit on top, so we know that it should go this way up. Then, well, we don't know, we're having a guess without taking another one apart. I can't be sure, and I don't want to take another one apart. And does it go around the other way? Because that barely fits in here, yeah, that fits in there just right, and this one needs to go in a bit further. Like the worst Lego set ever. I suppose I could see if some things work now, because uh, we do have. most of it in place. Right, got power on. This is good. No sound because I've not squashed it together close enough. Oh, no, I've got sound. Don't appear to have a ribbon cable for the volume, though. Ugh. Not sure how that's going to work. That one seems to work. Okay. Well, yeah, but we still have a long way to go as yet. Sorry, PS Vita, but you're not ready to be played with yet. Um, yeah, now there's another rear camera. I've got a case for it, or a holder. Yep, in fact, I've got three of them. Just don't appear to have any... Um, things for them, and also, ah, uh, yeah, the the plus and plus and minus volume buttons are here, so I haven't got to plug those in at all. Right, okay. Let me go and see if I can find a rear camera for this. Excellent. There we go. 
I'm quite pleased actually because uh, a few weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, I was working on a Vita, but I, I did get working. I was, it was another one that needed repairing. Can't remember what was wrong with it. Some stuff. Some stuff was wrong with it. I think it was the uh, that was the power port, wasn't it? Yeah. But tinkered with that, and I very nearly tried taking bits off of this board, and I'm really glad I didn't, because I'd have been proper annoyed at, well, there being a hack after I'd already destroyed it, so. Now you go there, don't you? I think. And then something, I'm sure, screws over the top. I'm sure there's some kind of... that screw in there yeah so that screws down on there somehow let's find a screw let's have one of these pink ones now we've got one of these one of these and over here one of these so they all take blue ones I think An awful lot of this is just getting done from memory, from tinkering on them before. strange little piece that goes on the top. I've just spotted one of those. That's this little blighter here. Although I don't remember which way around it goes. Does it go that way? Or... Yeah, it must do. It doesn't fit that way all that way so yes it must go this way around and that has a pink screw in it we easy tiger now Obviously a right, I'm sorry, left analog button, but on the right hand side as I look at this. I say obviously, there's no obvious about it. Because that's the wrong way. See, idiot. That is a right button, but the left as I look at it. So, that'd teach me, wouldn't it? And 
Well, that's the same way. Uh, ha, 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 ha. One for the other side. That's that in. Now, left, yep, right, ooh, <clears throat> there was a little bit of a um, broken one in there. Now we have these two clips here. I presume this one goes over this side. I'm doing a lot of presuming. Presuming is doing a lot of the heavy lifting here today. What's this one saying? Well, that one's worked a treat, so this must be the one for this side. It is, I just was doing it wrong. So, <clears throat> is that a good one of those? It looks it. Let's click that down there. Let's uh, try and make sure this power button sits where it's supposed to. I don't have another power button to replace this with if I break it. So in fact, let's hold it in place and clip this end in first. Yeah, you stay there. There we go. Right. I probably want to wipe that camera off. Hopefully that's removed any grubby fingerprints. If not, well won't be too difficult to take it apart to that point. So, yeah. Almost ready to put the back on. He says, retrieving the back. Plugging in power and touch, rear touch panel. go wi-fi needs mobile well i don't think it needs a motherboard anymore because i'll just put one in right now we do have a slight problem in that i don't have too many of these black screws let's have some on each side there should be some small ones for the bottom but those are going to have to go without the time being Unless I use the blue ones, perhaps. Do the blue ones fit? Let's have a look. Just to be different. Right. So 
Let's turn it on and see what happens. By the looks of it, bugger all. Well, that's confusing. Did I actually plug it in properly? Oh well, right, I'll take this back apart and we'll have a look. Right, screws are out, let's take the back off. Tree looks a bit sketchy. Do you know what? I'm going to unplug this one. I'm going to take this one over here, the original one I was going to use, because it's a, a nicer shell. I'm going to pop it in its shell. Try and turn it on, it won't come on because the battery is dead. But I'm going to go and put it on charge and come back when it's charged up in an hour or so. Okay, we've got some power. Not a huge amount, I will give it that. It's not the, the greatest amount of power in there, but we appear to be working. So, let's chuck a memory card in. I presume we're going to need one of those. Yep, yeah, let's restart. And then I need to work out how to do this uh, latest hack. So, right. Format memory card. Let's uh, see what system firmware this is on. Once it boots up. Gonna take four years, but there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Lovely. All right, let's just. Uh... Okay, so let's have a look at the settings. Mm -hmm. System. What are we on? Three point seven three. And we've got memory card there. So let's go to the web browser. That deploy dot PSP two dot dev go supported firmware is three point six five and three point seven four. Okay, so <clears throat> it's not really going to do anything because I'm on. 3.73, probably gonna have to update. All right, um, well, what do I do next? Okay, let's see if we can install Henkaku. All done, let's install Vita Deploy. doing now all done so let's exit hmm. is Hankaku actually installed yes enable unsafe homebrew spoofed version no. 
Don't need to, just, no. Cancel. Back. Home menu, close that. We to deploy. What we want to do here then? Um, install a different OS. Let's install 3.65. So, yeah, I'll leave that to do some downloading, because it's, well, it's kind of slow. My internet here is abysmal. Whilst it is doing that, and due to having the seriously low battery, I am going to plug that charger in. And hopefully, it might charge up a bit, I don't know. It doesn't appear to be actually charging. Great. Oh well, yeah, because I've, I've got like a, one of these things that's, well, plugged into there. So it should be giving me the ampage, but it's not. It's not charging. Oh well, I'll be back. Okay, um, the screen appears to have gone off. And it's not doing anything now. Um, I'm a little bit concerned, to be honest. I'm probably just going to leave it doing whatever it's doing for a bit longer and then come back either happy or sad. I we'll guess we'll find out, won't we? Have no fear, we're back. Basically, it crashed, so I've restarted it and I've updated it to 3.74 just to do it properly. So, let's try this Vita deploy thing again. All right, maybe I need to go to the browser. Unlock my Vita. Confused? Yes. Because we... Sh Do we still have MCAT? No. I can't start. Install. Okay, right. Install Henkaku. Already got Vita Deploy installed. So, hopefully, I should be able to start that now. Jolly good. Install different. Now, I may have to wander off with this and wait for it to update again. Yeah, so I'll be back when that's either done something or hasn't. All right, we've finished downloading. What does it say? Firmware information, current 1.74, factory firmware 1.06, target firmware 3.65. Uh, press X to confirm. Software will make permanent modifications to your Vita if anything goes wrong. There is no recovery, not even with a hardware flasher. The creators provide this tool as is, without warranty of any kind, express or implied, and cannot be held liable for any damage done. Continue in 20 seconds. Well, yeah, I mean, it's knackered anyway. It's banned. So without it doing this... and it's going to be pretty useless anyway. I really do like this uh, light above here as well, because look, yeah, there we go. Look, let's have a nice light. It's great. Well, not doing much, are you? Oh, 
got one of these to jam in there afterwards as well. So, yeah. Um, cool. Installing the system software. So hopefully we should be downgraded down to 3.65 after this. And then I believe <clears throat> we can install, well, <clears throat> Enso. I'm not quite sure though. Obviously with all this new stuff and that, I've, I've hacked them before, but never, never quite like this. I mean, it might just do it on its own. Who knows? But so far, this has not involved plugging in any memory cards or systems into the PC. All I've done is visit a website. And cross my fingers lots. He still powers on. I still got all the screws and things to put back in, of course. Updating database. Do -do -do. System settings. What are we on? We are on system, yeah, 3.65 Henkaku. Henkaku, Christ, I sound right. Right, Nor Henkaku, Northern. Magic. Well, that's good for now. I'm going to find out how I can get it to read this memory card instead of that little 8 gigabyte one that's in there. I'll be back. Let's um, plug the memory card Jobby what's it in. Apparently I need to go back down to Vita Deploy. Um, well, file manager. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, no. Um, how do I go back? Okay, close that. That's clearly not where you need to go. <laughs> Miscellaneous. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh. I have no what. Create an internal memory card. Press the any key. Let's start that. <laughs> so apparently, miscellaneous um, format a storage device target. Yep, SD to Vita format target storage formatted. Okay. Let's close that. Now, bearing in mind we had an eight gigabyte memory card in here before. What have I got in here now? Um, system, system information. Still an eight gig memory card. I wonder what happens if I actually just uh, reboot the system. Um, I did jab at a whole load of things I didn't need to jab at, didn't I? So that probably wasn't the smartest of ideas. Okay, close that. Settings, start. System, system. Still only that much. Right. I'm confused. Oh, 
forward storage device. Okay. Wait for it to format. Probably good. Back. Back. Reboot. Cargo settings back normal settings system. Nope, still only eight gig. So I better go and learn. Right, I suppose I'll go back to settings. Devices. Storage devices. Use that. And then I suppose we'll no. Where's oh yeah. Got a reboot here. Right. Setting start. Let's have a look. How much space? Still only eight flipping gig. I'm not happy. We can deploy. Start. Do some more faffing because all that we've got. See that one there is my. Yeah. Which one of these is. That one's 8 gigabytes. Oh well. Right. I need to go and stop faffing with this. Right, I'm going back into V to deploy. <clears throat> File manager. I was in the right place. I was on the right track. So, triangle, copy, OK. Upper file. And this one. Triangle, paste. I want that app folder in there. To be fair, I should probably um, try to copy all of them, mark all, and then no, back, mark all, not that one. Not that one, because I want to copy those. Put the whole lot on there. Wait for that to do its thing. Right, I suppose I can quit out of there. And then, what do we do? Back to settings. Yeah. Storage devices, storage devices, UXO, SD to Vita, U, memory card, developer options, nah, don't worry about that. 
now. Does it show me anything? No. I suppose I shall reboot the device again. Let's see if we finally have some actual memory card business. So, yep, yep, that's all still there. Settings, start. System settings, system, 28 gigabytes. Excellent. So yeah, um, this is ready to put some toot on it. Um, obviously can't, um, do anything like logging on because Henkaku settings, PSN spoofing, spoofed version 3.74. Yep. So it thinks it's 3.74, but if I try to get on the PlayStation Network, it will tell me off. Um, I'm not sure if I can sign up or sign in. I'm obviously not going to do that here because that would be daft putting my credentials out there. But yeah, this is now a nicely hacked PlayStation Vita with a new screen, no scratches on it whatsoever. And um, it's going to have a life after death. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, the building of it and changing the screen was the more important part and the more interesting part and then this was just me faffing about afterwards to make it work so cool thanks for watching have a good evening and i'll see you in the next one take care bye